Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Therapeutic Edge. It is lovely to have you here. I've got a couple of knives on the table. One of them is new, one of them is not. So, a while back, uh, David of Blade Banter, which is an excellent YouTube channel, I will post a link in the description. He reviews knives and gear, and he's a very nice human being. Decided he wanted to design a knife, so he did. And he got together with QSP, and they designed the Solaris, which is an excellent pocket knife. It is a button lock. It was definitely ahead of the button lock curve. Um, he put a lot of his knife love and his understanding of knives into the design. And I really like this thing, but he's been working on a follow-up. So let's take a look. This is the Orion Knives Scorpio. It is a scaled down version of the Solaris. There are a few changes and we'll get to those. Um, it's a little smaller, well, I mean, it's noticeably smaller, um, but it's also improved. So he took his lessons from this and he applied them to the new smaller Scorpio. Well, what did he do? Well, um, Scorpio has, um, the Scorpio has got exposed liners, whereas this has got hidden liners. Um, saves a little in, in manufacturing. This has got a really nice lanyard post on the back, whereas the, Scorpio, the uh, Solaris does not. Um, they share the same or very similar titanium pocket clip and they have the same pivot. That's part of his brand. Overall shape is the same. Uh, both are 14C28N uh, blade steel. This one has got a feature that I really like. And you can see this jimping up here at the top of the blade. So draw cuts, right? The, the drawing of the knife across material is one of the most common forms of knife use. Putting this jimping up here, it lets you get your finger right where you want it, right right here. So you have lots of ability to put pressure and grip as you're doing a draw cut. So opening packages, getting through stuff. The Scorpio is really well suited for it. It's got a nice little fuller, right? As you can see right there. Button lock action is very good. If I don't screw it up because I'm on camera, there we go, that's better. Sorry about that, David. <laughs> um, this is just a clean little knife. Uh, it really is very good. These are about 85 bucks on his website, and there are multiple colors available. This first showed its face at Blade West last year in uh, down south in Southern California. Um, he had them this year at Blade West in Utah, and they dropped a little while ago on his website, uh, which is orionknives.com. Again, there'll be a link down in the description. I really, David, I really like this thing. He's not listening necessarily, but I just want to share that with you guys anyway. Uh, the fuller, you can, oh, you can flick it with the fuller. If you give it a little bump, you can deploy it with the thumb studs, of course, and the flipper tab works every single time. So this is a knife with not just two, but three forms of deployment. Uh, the clip, let's go ahead and close it up. Uh, what am I going to use now? How about an envelope? envelope. Um, yeah, basically deep carry, right? You get a little tiny bit of knife sticking out the back there, but not much. Uh, the pocket clip is milled down. See on this side, right? You can see the opening. The pocket clip is milled down into the micarta. So, and it's squared off nicely. So there's no wiggle and no rock. The blade is dead centered on this one. This one came from the apex pass around group, hashtag apex pass around. Um, so we don't own this one yet, but we're going to. Uh, yeah, just a well-sorted little tool. It's nice and lean in the pocket. Now, you guys know I generally like, you know, bigger sort of monster knives. I do. I like big, big knives. Um, I have recently, and I've talked about this many times, found an affinity and appreciation for small knives done well. The Scorpio here is just that way. So I do have to, I mean, I can hold it this way. It's a three finger knife if I'm back behind the flipper, but using that forward choil, I get a full, very comfortable and very locked in grip. Um, yeah, it's just well done. The handle shape, which could be limiting because of this swell, isn't. Even if I'm doing three finger, right? The pinky fits nicely up against the back of the knife, and I still feel like I have a very, very firm grip on it. It's a very positive feeling in the hand. And I do love that button. The 14C is ground well, like I said, it's got a little flat with a fuller in it, right? 
But beyond that, it's got a nice long drop down to a very nice edge. Ooh, that is sharp. Um, yeah, this is good stuff. Let's do some size comparisons for knives you may be a little more familiar with. Oh, let's get its specs out of the way because I know what I'm doing. Anywho, what do we got here? We've got a little over two and a half inches, uh, almost two and three quarters inches of cutting on two and three quarter inches of 14C28N. The grip area, we'll do it in two stages. Uh, we'll line it up first from behind the flipper tab back to the end here. You've got just three inches, which is fine. But if you bring in that forward choil, you get one, two, three, four inches of grip, which is more than enough for almost any size hand. Knife overall from tip to tail is a very compact, what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six and a half inches, right? It is a smaller knife. Closed length, we're coming in nicely at just four inches. Now the in-the-pocket profile is a little chonky for a knife this small, but that's okay. If we line this up on this edge and the flipper tab, uh, you're looking at just about an inch and a half. So, you know, I mean, it's it's pair of three, right? There it is against the pair of three side by side. These two fill up the pocket in a very similar way. So if you're comfortable with the Spyderco swell, uh, the Orion Knives Scorpio is going to be uh, no problem at all. Now, it is a little thicker through the handle than a Spyderco, as you can see. I don't mind the thickness on these knives. There's a couple, only a couple of ways to get a very good positive grip on a knife, particularly when it's built for work. you got to make them tall so you can grip it, you know, sort of axe handle style, or you got to make them thick so it's a little more broom handle, right? David leaned into the broom handle, so it's about the same thickness this way, a little thinner, but you, you basically it's... It gives you good grip because there's plenty of handle there. All right, now let's do those size comparisons. I'm going to line it up on this line just for giggles. Since we already had it out, here it is against the uh, Para 3. As you can see, the uh, Para 3 and the Scorpio have just about the same amount of cutting surface on the blade. You do get a lot more handle on the Para 3. Right? You can see it is just a little bit longer on either end. Here it is against the uh, full-size PM2. This one, of course, is the Tanto version. It just makes me happy to have one. If we line that up, you can see. I mean, come on. But this is a small knife, and it is a small knife on purpose. So speaking of small knives, let's put it up against the bug out. It is considerably shorter than the bug out, even, right? So the Scorpio is a small knife with less cutting surface. Right? It's just a small knife. What a well done small knife. All right. I actually have a collection at this point of knives that were designed by people I know. That's weird and very cool. <laughs> I'll do a video. That's what I'll do. I'll dig it. All the knives I have that were designed by people that I actually call friend. I mean, I've met lots of designers, but there are a few. Uh, whose name and cell phone number is in my phone. That would be a cool video, so that's what I'll do. Maybe a couple of weeks out, but keep an eye open for that. So the Scorpio here is a nice, small knife. It is, we're going to call it mid-weight. Right? It's got full-size liners that are... I don't see any over... Oh, that's milling. So they are milled, but they are still reasonably thick. So it's got some heft to it. I wonder how much. Let's find out together. I do love the action on these buttons. They're very good. All right, the Scorpio here is coming in at 3.5 inches, um, which is considerably more than that ounce per inch for blade length that a lot of the hardcore EDC guys use. But the way this knife is built, it, look, I'm not gonna say it's a hard use knife, but it absolutely lends itself to more regular use. So, one of the reasons that I very much like, but also do not carry the bug out, is because it is so thin that I, I never quite feel like I have the best grip on it, no matter what I do. And so the few times that I've had to use this thing to cut down a ton of cardboard or something, after a while, all that wiggling in my hand starts to present sort of a problem. And there are times when, despite my best intentions, I can't carry a monster knife even when I want to, so I didn't carry something lighter and smaller or at least smaller, so a little less noticeable. 
The, the uh, Scorpio here is, well, it's that. It's smaller, easy to carry, lighter to pack, not quite so noticeable, you know, in many ways, and yet it presents you with a marvelous amount of working functionality, right? Kind of no matter how you want to hang on to this thing, it's going to do the job. Let's break out the magic calipers and see how much of this 14C we got. I just want to point out, look how well crowned this is. This, oh, I should probably put it on camera. The spine of the blade is beautifully crowned, so there's nothing sharp. Even the flipper tab is, which by the way has no jimping, but it doesn't need it. It's got a really nice flat that your finger grabs onto. Um, yeah, this blade is, this blade, this knife is really well chamfered down. The only sharp edge on this blade, and it's right where you want it, is the grind. Which by the way, this knife has been through probably six different sets of hands and uses at this point. And I don't know what QSP does to their 14C, but this thing has held an edge remarkably well, considering how many people have seen it before me. That's good. All right, blade stock. We are coming in, way back here at the thickest point, at three millimeters, right? which is why it comes to a really nice edge. The handle thickness is going to stand out a little bit. Yeah, we are definitely coming up on that half inch mark. In fact, we're a little bit over. We are at 3.5, a uh, point, excuse me, five, six inches. Um, but like I said, that lends itself to a really positive grip and hand. So there you have it. That is the uh, Orion Knives Scorpio, uh, designed by our friend David from the Blade Banter channel. I am really happy to have had an opportunity to take a look at this. I am for sure going to get one of these for Women Carry Knives. I hope you've enjoyed this look. I very much have enjoyed having it around the house. It's now going to go off to someone else for review. I hope maybe you'll go check it out there because everybody brings something a little different to the review process. Thank you so much for your time today. And don't forget, there's a link in the description where you can get one of these for yourself. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.